How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Miss Timing Let me explain Miss Timing. Miss Timing is when an effect cannot activate because it doesn't meet its activation requirement or it doesn't meet its target requirement. I'll showcase a few examples with several diagrams. Player 1 places Mystic Mine in the field zone. Player 2 responds by activating Twin Twister in the Spell and Trap Card Zone. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. What I have just shown you is a simple chain. So you ask, where does mistiming come in? Well, it comes in when lots of effects activate. Let me showcase more a typical will challenge combo with response from the opponent. First, I will showcase both players' hands, then go step by step through a walkthrough of the chalice player's play and the opponent's responding to the plays, and then showing you where mistiming occurs. Let's show both players' hands to begin with. Player 1's hand. Player 2's hand. Okay, player 1 starts. First, normal summons, beckoned. Then Link summons using Beckoned into Imduk. Imduk's effect allows an additional normal summon of a World Chalice monster. Guard Dragon Kamadi's special summons itself from hand when a normal monster leaves the field. This is a continuous effect, not activation, referring to Imduk's effect. Player 2, seeing a problem, activates Effect Veiler from hand. Chainlink 1, Effect Veiler negates Imduk's continuous effect. Chainlink 2. Player 1 counters by activating Called by Grave, negating the effect of Effect Failure in the graveyard. So it means Player 1 can continue with his slash her play. Let's continue on with Player 1's play. As you can see on Player 2's board, Effect Failure is negated and banished. First, I'll showcase you what Player 1 does, then afterwards, indicate them. Player 1 Tribute summons Imduk for World Legacy, World Chalice. Imduk, when it leaves the field, specials a Chalice monster from hand, which is Lee of the World Chalice. When Lee is normal or special summoned, it allows you to add a World Chalice monster from deck to hand. That monster is the World Chalice Guard Dragon. Okay, let's stop there. What does all this mean? As you have seen, with the World Chalice play I showed you, Lots of effects are activating. It's important to use chain links to determine what happens first, then second, etc. Not doing this can allow you to not only lose track of the effects, but to allow the effects to not kick off. If let's say for example I didn't activate Garmedi's effect when I link summoned Imduk, the board would look like this after summoning Imduk. As you can see, the board is lacking in monsters. Most importantly, it's lacking in choices, not mastering time, can lead to horrible boards, created and missed opportunities. So how do you make sure that such kind of mistiming things don't happen? One, I must stress this, read your cards. I know this sounds silly, but this happens too many times. Timing issues happen because cards miss their activation window. Two. First come, first serve. Play with that mindset. Play with the mindset of interactions happening in the here and now. Even if you have cards that make a plan for the future, your interactions with your opponent must be in the here and now. Let me show you another mistiming accident. Useful for follow-up play after Imduk. Summoning condition needs two chalice monsters. You have witnessed a missed opportunity. Let's continue to point Three, break it down. Mistiming is a thing that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh because 90% of the time players are confused since so many things are taking place. First thing is first. A. Focus on the effect of a card you have currently activated. Not cards. Card. This is rule 101. One card at a time. B. Check whether the effect can activate at its present time. Meaning, for example, is there a blanket effect on the board that renders your effect useless? C. Repeat process A to B with the next card activation that involves you. D. 
When a response does occur from your opponent, check your hand and field to see if you can respond to your opponent. If not, your effect is gone, depending on the effect activated by your opponent. Repeat process A to D with the next card activation involving yourself. Hopefully, you now understand mistiming and how to avoid it. All I can say is practice. Keep dueling in real life, not online. This is a skill that will only be built up through real life experience. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.